Okay, I'm going to show you how to make your own Adobe Spark video. It's really simple to use, putting videos, images, and text and icons together with music to make your own simple video. So let's open the app. You can see you can log in a few ways. You can sign up for a free account. Let's start a new project by tapping on the plus button at the bottom. Skip to editor. Adobe Spark works similar to other slide presentations. We have our slides at the bottom, so let's add a few extra. And then we can put different videos or photos on these. We can move these slides around easily or delete them. So let's add something to our first slide. Let's add a video. There we go. Let's use this shot. And using the slider, you can choose which section of your video you'd like to get in and how much as well. Once you've inserted your video, don't forget to either turn up the sound if you're talking in it or have it on mute if you're not. For this one, I'm going to have it nice and loud. And then you can watch it back if you want to check if it's right. Great. On your next slide, you could add text or you could add text on top of your video or an icon, but let's add text on a new slide. Text. Again, you can make that larger or smaller and move it around with one finger. You can search for loads of different types of images that are free on the internet and free to use. And then let's put an icon over the top as well. And again, similar to the photos, there's lots, of, lots to choose from. There we go. Then over the top of this, you can record your own voice by holding down the microphone. If we all use renewable energy, the world will be a better place. You can also play with the layout of the slides. So if we go back to this slide, Go to layout again, we can split that screen and choose a photo then that goes next to this page. So we could have um, something like that. And there are a few different options that you can play with. And then what else you can do is you can add a different theme. So you can choose one of these. And what it will do is change every single slide, every font to a particular font, every color. And you can see how that looks then. And then you can also, if you tap on the pencil icon, you can actually change the color scheme. Also, what you need to think about is, also you need to think about what type of music you want. If you want any at all, you can press the bin icon. If you want to remove the music track, Listen to them carefully. Um, very important, turn them right down because they are quite loud over audio. Think about what's best for the project that you're doing and the style that you want to convey. So you're ready to finish with your video. What do you do next? You've added all, all that you needed to in the slides below. What do you do? You tap on the export button, which is top right here. You can choose where it goes to. Let's save it to camera roll. That saves it as a file on your iPad, so you can use it again. Great. So you'll find your exported video in the Camera Roll app, which is top left on my iPad. Let's open that up. And you'll see my video is this one here. You can play it back. You can favorite it. You can bin it. Or you can export it again from the Camera Roll app to where you want it to go. You could airdrop it to a local computer but let's post it to Twitter. You can use it for Google Classrooms or email or your Google Drive if you have that. But again, let's post this to Twitter. And there we go, ready to tweet. Or you can also export the link 
via Twitter or Facebook if your school uses that. And it shares this from the Adobe Spark website itself. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can create a, a really effective video easily in the Adobe Spark app, putting images and icons and music and your own voice together to actually make a difference. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So how do you download Adobe Spark video? I'll be using the App Store for Apple devices. So if we search for Adobe, we can find um, our free apps. There we go, there's a nice little bundle. There we go. And if you tap on some of these um, download icons that would be on yours, then you can um, download it. This is where you'll be able to download them if you have access, but also the IT team in your school might have to do this for you.